I think I, I had a relationship that was like abusive, like abusive dude, narcissist. Um, it got really ugly. And it, it it really warped my brain to where I thought everything was my fault. And it took like mm. years of therapy really? to get that oh, out of my you? head. Um, mid 20s. I was in my mid 20s. And then I was single for a while. But I also dated a lot of just losers, mm -hmm. like guys without jobs or ambition. And I think I told myself, like, you know, if I f this up, it doesn't matter because he's a loser anyway. Mm -hmm. But I actually couldn't, I, I never actually reacted that way, right? The way I would react is like, not even this loser wants me. Yeah. <laughs> I know, where's my wine right it now? Never, it never actually worked. But it was a lot of therapy, and then, you know, I because I, I was in a place for my entire 20s when I would not have been open to a secure man like my husband. Like a secure... Why? Because of that. Because I was... Because I'd be so worried about messing it up. Yeah. I, I, I You get addicted to, you know, the pizzazz that an untreated mental illness can bring to the relationship. You think that that's love, where it's the fighting and the pat and this and this, and that you think that that's love. And it's, it's mm -hmm. not. It's like an addiction, ultimately. I would be addicted to the drama of these relationships. And then I went through all this therapy. I got out of the relationship. And then I was, I, you know, my husband, I met him. And I didn't like him at first. And I talked about this in the book, too. I was like, like, he's got a job. <laughs> like, ah, you know, he seems like he might calmly work his way through a disagreement instead of having us, like, blocking and unblocking each other on Instagram. Like, boy. Because oh you'd think God. that would be boring, and it actually isn't. Like, it's actually also very fun. But I had to get to that point, which took a lot of, a lot of work and self-awareness of what I was doing and seeing right. these past relationships for what they really were, mm -hmm. which isn't love, wasn't my fault. I'm not unlovable. It's like, these guys, that's all they have is to make me feel bad about myself so that I'll accept these things. So you had a good upbringing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where, where do you think?